joining Lisa Marvin Art. It's experiment day, which I love. Uh, and today I wanted to uh, experiment with fluorescent colors because I find when you use fluorescent colors, um, they, because they're so um, transparent and pigmented, they kind of just lose their vibrancy in a pore. And I was wondering what would happen if you layered them with a white underneath and with a dark color underneath, if it would help keep their uh, brightness more. So I have these Liquitex Basic Acrylics. I'm gonna be using the fluorescent blue, the fluorescent yellow, and a fluorescent pink. Now normally I wouldn't, I'll turn them around for you. Normally I wouldn't use them alone altogether, but for this experiment, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna do three. The first one we'll just do all together plain to see what happens. The second one in between each layer, I'm gonna do a Payne's Gray paint. And for the third one, I'll use an Amsterdam white paint in between each one to see maybe um, what would help these shine a little bit more when you pour them. So for my pillow paint, um, I am using a paint from Home Hardware. It's a um, eggshell paint and it's pretty thick. So I thin it down with some water. For my pouring medium, I'm still waiting for my Jo Sonia, but my base paint is this Watco lacquer. You get it at Home Depot in Canada. I don't know about Lowe's, but when you get it, you have to make sure it says dark tint base because that will keep the color, uh, I was gonna say fresh, but that doesn't make sense. That will keep the color the same color, thank you. Because they have a light one which will turn your colors pastel, which would be okay too. I used it when I ran out um, and it made more interesting colors. So I use that um, with, because I don't have my Jo Sonia polyurethane, it's stuck in the mail somewhere. Um, this is what helps get really good cells. Um, I use the triple thick Varathane one part to that to two part Waco, and also one part polyacrylic. This is, the polyacrylic is very thin, the triple thick is very thick, so it's good to kind of balance them out. Because the Josonia, you only really need the Josonia, it's very thin. So you always have to play around with your consistencies. My cell activator is Australian Floatrol which is really great to use for the bloom technique because you don't need to add any other additives to it. The American Floatrol, um, I'll show you, it's really heavy. It looks like this. And you have to add glue and wood conditioner, there are sneakers obviously, um, to your mix. And uh, for my cell activator, I had some Payne's Gray already mixed up, so we're just gonna use that to see what happens. So I'm really excited, and uh, let me point the camera down and see what happens. Okay, so I've laid my pillow paint down. Again, there's probably gonna be a lot of air bubbles because I just mixed it up with some water. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay the three colors down just to kind of see what happens. I'll start with the blue. That's a little thick today. All right, do a little more. You wanna make sure you lay enough paint so when you spin it, it doesn't, um, it reaches the edges. Okay, next we'll do this yellow. I'm not sure I'd ever use this yellow in anything. Um, but it's good to see the contrast. And I'm wondering if the yellow and the blue will kind of make a greeny color mixed together. And then finally we have the neon pink, which also looks a little thick. I, I put a little more paint than usual because I wanted the color to be bright. So we'll see how that works out. Now, Get those bubbles out. So before I blow 
what I'm going to do is just move the paint to the edges so that when I spin it, um, it will just glide off nicely. And I haven't used the cell activator in a few days, so I'm also curious about how that's gonna go, but we'll see. All right, let's move it back to the middle a little bit. Okay, so my cell activator coming up. Still looks pretty good. Okay, let's see. Okay, I mean, it's not horrible. Let's see what happens when I stretch it out. Um, I got some nice cells with it though. When the paint is finished coming back to the middle, I'm just gonna move it more to the middle for when I spin it out. And meanwhile, I will get the air bubbles out. Well, I don't see too many yet but I'm gonna see it soon. So, all right, let's see if we're gonna, we can move. Yeah, I do see a lot of the green, the blue and the um, yellow made some green, but that's fine. Okay, so let's spin and see. Okay. I actually don't mind this piece at all, actually. Let's give her another little spin. Okay, that's interesting, I think. So this is with all the three colors. Let me move it off the thing here. Okay, and then we'll get our new canvas. Pop her on, put our pillow paint down. Now, sometimes I put a little too much pillow paint because the uh, canvases that I'm using are very thick on the side. So you do want it when you're doing it for something nice, you do want to make sure that you can cover the side. So now uh, I'm going to, you can, I don't know if you can see, but there's air, air bubbles coming out already. Usually it's good to kind of just let it sit for a minute if you think you have air bubbles, but we don't have that time. So what I'm going to do next is use my Payne's Gray in between each color. Now the Payne's Gray, I think, is gonna work better than the white, only because this is the Payne's Gray is semi-transparent. I'm gonna do the same um, color in the same order. Uh, and the Titanium White is very heavy and not transparent at all. So I don't even know if the colors are gonna shine through there or not. We'll see. But I'm gonna do a dot of Payne's Gray in between each color to see. Okay, next goes the yellow. Okay, I probably should put a little more paint on there, but okay. And then we'll do another Payne's Gray. should get it around here like this and then we will do the pink and get more of the pink going on here all right same thing first I'll get those little bubbles out move her back to the middle just get the paint moving Okay, now we will put on the magic sauce here and see what happens. So it's looking cool. I don't, I'm seeing just uh, I'm not seeing the blue separately. Uh, I'm seeing the green color though, so I think they mixed in together. Okay, it does look really cool though, I have to say. All right. 
okay let's give it a minute i'm really loving the multi-dimensional cells happening okay so let's move it this way okay give her the spin i i even like it without spinning but just for argument's sake we'll spin it all right it's kind of psychedelic looking okay perfect next we will move to the white in between everything uh here's my last canvas put the pillow paint down again so this one i'm pretty curious about if the colors are going to shine through at all now no also you can kind of whack it down but i have paint everywhere so i don't want to get paint everywhere but to get the air bubbles out you can give it a few whacks if you want okay so we are going to start with oh i see more bubbles coming with the white and get this little guy and i'll just make it a little bigger okay so we're going to start with the white and white on white okay next we have the blue okay although i guess i didn't need to put the white down first because there's already right paint but whatever um another white this also is looking a little thick okay we have the yellow down now we're gonna have the white okay and finally the pink what do you think's gonna happen such a mystery okay so let's get this i've never had a canvas quite look like this before before blowing it out okay get the cell activator okay Not much happening, eh? And that's what I kind of suspected because the white is so opaque, it kind of blocked the other colors from coming through. Okay. It's okay. It's just not the best out of the bunch, is it? Okay, so let's turn it. I guess if I found a an, a translucent lighter color, although that's kind of cool. I don't hate it. I guess they're all different looks. So let's, um, here, I'll bring you up so you can see all three together. One. Oops, two, three. Well, that was a super fun experiment. Tell me which one you liked the best. I'm super curious. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you again soon.